good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel so I had shared on Instagram that I was decluttering a couple of things from my bedroom because I'm actually preparing to move to a new place and I had a couple people ask if I was going to be filming it and initially I wasn't going to because I'm really not getting rid of that much I was just going to quickly go through and donate or sell a couple of things that I'm not using but I thought I would just take you with me quickly today and just go through everything and really quickly do a little mini declutter so if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff that I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping and what my rationale is for those things then stay tuned and also if you like minimalism decluttering home decor perfume videos anything like that definitely subscribe and go check out the rest of my videos and let's get right into today's video so thankfully you guys I don't have that much that I need to declutter um, most of the stuff that you see in my bedroom I'm going to be taking with me my nightstand is fairly organized. I've gone through that recently and organized it and you guys have seen many nightstand declutter videos. Um, obviously my bed and all of my bedding I'm gonna be taking with me. The pictures on the wall are coming with me. The curtains are coming with me. Um, we'll get to the closet in a minute. This picture is gonna be coming with me. Everything you see here will be coming with me uh, for the most part. I don't think there's anything, yeah, there's nothing there that I'm gonna be getting rid of. And pretty much everything in my dresser, there might be one or two odds and ends I can declutter, maybe a couple pairs of underwear or something, maybe some pajamas, but for the most part, everything in the dresser will be coming as well. Um, that shelf belongs to me, that'll be coming. All of my perfumes, of course, will be coming. This over-the-door shoe organizer will also be coming, and I'm gonna go through my shoes uh, one by one with you and show you which ones I'm gonna be keeping, which ones I'm going to be donating, if any, and kind of my rationale for each. Okay, so sorry that this isn't the best view, you guys, but I only have so many hands. Um, so this shirt I'm gonna be getting rid of. This is kind of a flowy sheer top from Nordstrom Rack, and it's got a little bell sleeve on it. It is in the color mint green, and it's brand spanking new. Like, I just took the tag off of it the other day. Unfortunately, I cannot return it because I've had it for too long. Um, but the reason I'm returning it is because I have a shirt identical to it, but in a better color. Okay, so this is the shirt that I'm actually keeping. Um, this is exactly the same brand, it's exactly the same top, just in a different color, and when I first got it, I really thought I liked the mint green, but actually I really like the way the shirt looks on me better. This one flatters my skin tone a little bit more, and it's a little bit more versatile. So it's just a sheer white top with some black polka dots on it, and you just wear it with like a little black bralette or even a nude bra, and it just looks really classy um, and also very stylish, and I just really like it. A lot of times when I buy clothing, if I like a shirt, I will buy it in two or three colors, and usually that works out well for me because I hate when they discontinue styles and I can't find something. Unfortunately, this was one of those times that it did not work out for me to get another color. In this bag, I also have a sports bra that I'm just not going to be wearing because I have it in two or three other colors that I prefer. Um, and then I just have a couple of dresses that I won't go through with you in depth because they're really not that exciting. It's basically just a leopard print dress that I've decided against, as well as this kind of um, Hawaiian looking dress that actually my mom gave to me. She got it when she was on a trip and I just don't care for it because the fabric is a little bit flimsy and doesn't look very expensive. and. Um, she initially got it for herself and she just didn't care for it so she asked if I would like it and I thought that I might but it just isn't working out so I'm going to declutter that one. The next thing that I had decluttered was this pair of white skinny jeans from Articles of Society and these are also fairly new but I recently got another pair of white jeans and they are so much more flattering. They look way better on my body and for the amount that I actually wear jeans these will just last me forever and I probably won't wear them so yeah I don't need three pairs of white pants so these ones I will be donating so you guys I'm not gonna do a full declutter of my wardrobe today because everything that's in there I'm actually gonna be keeping um, there's nothing that I really want to get rid of at this time I kind of tried most of it on yesterday actually and I like everything that's in there but eventually I will do a more in-depth clothing wardrobe tour because I know people have been asking for that it would just be it would take forever if I did that today um, but yeah everything in here I really like I have probably about eight or nine pairs of jeans I have uh, probably about 10 shirts and maybe 15 dresses and three skirts and a couple of jumpsuits I also have a couple of cardigans and caftans so this is a pink cardigan that I love. It's brand new. I'm going to be keeping that one. I also have this really beautiful floral caftan which I got from Winners and I absolutely love it so I'll be keeping that. 
And then I also have another gray cardigan, and I really, really like um, gray and beige cardigans. They come in handy all the time, so I will definitely be keeping that as well. Okay, so when it comes to my handbags, I actually have two handbags coming in the mail. One of them is through PR, and the other one is a gift from my boyfriend. So both of those I will be keeping when they arrive, and I'll show them to you when they come if you're interested. Um, this one here is a Tory Burch crossbody handbag. It's just a small one. Uh, this one has a little bit of sentimental value for me because I bought it from Rodeo Drive when I was in Los Angeles. Um, so I absolutely love it. I don't wear it very often because it's kind of small and I usually prefer a bigger bag. But I love this bag. I love the colors, um, everything about it. So this one I will definitely be keeping. This one here was also a gift and I don't wear it very often again because it's incredibly small. There's not much room for anything. I can't even fit my cell phone in here, believe it or not. Because I can't fit much in there, I don't wear it very often. But again, because it was a gift, it does have some sentimental value to me. So in my closet, I have a brown Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which I will be keeping for sure. I absolutely love that. That is my go-to fall and winter bag. It's really practical. It holds everything I need it to hold. Um, I just, I carry so much with me. I carry sunscreen. I carry my wallet. I carry my phone. I have my car keys. I have a comb. I have hairspray. I have everything you can ever think about, like earbuds. So yeah, I need to have a fairly good size handbag and that one is just I love that bag I know some people aren't crazy about the monogram print I personally really like the monogram print I also have the same bag but in the light checkered print and I absolutely love it that is my go-to tote bag for when I travel um, yeah it also just whoops it also just fits um, everything I need to carry in the airport when I go on vacation I absolutely love it this little top handle Tory Burch, it actually has a shoulder strap. I will be keeping this as well because red is one of my favorite colors. Um, I really like this handbag. This was also a gift, so I will be holding on to that one. Down here I have a couple of wristlets and clutches, and both of the clutches I'm gonna be keeping. This is my um, black Ted Baker clutch. It's the only black evening clutch that I have, and I think everybody needs to have a black clutch, so I've got that one. Um, I also have this nude Tory Burch clutch. I absolutely love this. This was also the very first designer bag I ever purchased and I love it. It's one of my favorite things so I will definitely be keeping that. I've used it so much already and then I also have just the little um, Louis Vuitton wristlet that came with the bag and I really really like this as well so I will be keeping that. Okay one thing I think I will declutter is this little green faux crocodile print bag. This one I got from Nordstrom. I believe it is from Urban Expressions or something like that. Like not a really high end. I think this was like 25 or 30 dollars on sale and I really do like it you guys but I haven't worn it once since I've gotten it. I don't think I will ever use it. The other thing that drives me a little bit crazy is the handle is kind of bent and yeah I just honestly don't think I'm going to use it because it's green. It's not really a neutral color. And I just came out to my porch area to show you. This is the handbag that I'm currently using, so I will be keeping that one. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through my shoes with you guys and um, show you the shoes and whether or not I'm going to be keeping them. So this is a 4-inch block heel from Steve Madden. I absolutely love these and I wear them a lot actually, so I'm definitely going to be keeping them. Next, I have a 4-inch heel from Sam Edelman. This is just a high heel sandal. Absolutely love it. Definitely going to be keeping these. This is a 3-inch pointy toe pump and I absolutely love it. These are from Aldo. I've had these forever. These are probably my most worn pair of high heel shoes. They are so versatile, you guys. They go with everything and I absolutely love them. So I will definitely be keeping these ones. Next, we have a pair of ballet flats from Michael Kors and these are just in a nude pink color. They are very dirty. Excuse the dirtiness of the shoe, but I wear them all the time and I've had them forever. So yeah, I love these shoes. I'll be keeping them for sure. Next, we have a really adorable um, snake print shoe, which I just got from Call It Spring. These are brand new. I haven't even worn them yet. Um, I absolutely love snake print and I've been meaning to get a pair of snake print loafers for a long time and I absolutely love them. They were also very affordable, so I will definitely be keeping these. Okay, next we have a T-strap sandal. These are from Coach. Um, they're just in like a cream, kind of an off-white color and then they just have like a brown bottom. And you guys, I'm actually not a fan of these. I thought that I really liked them when I first got them and I wore them the other day and I just really did not like how they made me look. 
Um, I do usually prefer to wear something with a little bit of a heel, even if it's a wedge. And if I wear a sandal, I want it to be very, very minimal. I just really didn't like how I felt in them. So I honestly think I'm gonna be decluttering these ones. Okay, so next we have another sandal, and these ones are by Michael Kors. These ones, you guys, I absolutely love. So they're not a whole lot different from the other pair, but you can tell that they are a little bit skinnier. They're a little bit more minimal. Um, the strap on the top is also skinnier. They're also more of a skin tone because of the gold, so they don't stand out as much. They kind of blend into your foot and just elongate your body, which I really like. And I think I paid like... $100 maybe or $90 for these six years ago and I have worn them every single summer since I got them and I absolutely love them. So these were a really good investment and I will definitely be keeping them. I may as well put them over here. Um, okay, so the next pair is a pair of really light pink, kind of a dark, actually like blushy pink. So, well, I guess these are more of a midi heel. These are about a two and a half inch. I got them from Winners. I absolutely love them. They're very classy and they're very elegant and I really like that they're a high heel. They're very feminine, but they don't hurt your feet. They are so comfortable. These are the type you could just put on any day of the week and just wear with any outfit and you would feel a little bit more elevated. So I absolutely love them. I think those are a staple. Next, we have another pair of Sam Edelman high heel sandals. These ones, however, are only a three inch. So these ones are a lot more practical and a lot more casual for the daytime than that other really high pair that I have up there. So these ones I will definitely be keeping as well. They're one of my favorites. Next, we have a black pointy toe high heel. These are a three and a half inch. These are also from Call It Spring. I really like Spring and Aldo for a lot of basic everyday shoes and they go with everything. I think that every girl needs a pair of black heels in their wardrobe, whether they're a high heel or a mid heel. Next, I have this patent pointy toe a uh, three inch heel, which is also from Call It Spring. This is a little bit similar to the, the matte blush Lifestride ones, except these ones are um, patent, of course, so they're a little bit more dressy. Very, very comfortable though. This is like the perfect heel height. I could honestly wear these all day, you guys, and my feet would never get sore. Next, we have a pair of Sam Edelman sneakers, and this is what they look like. They're just a basic white sneaker. You guys, I don't wear these ever, like ever, 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 but when we go sightseeing and stuff, I will need a pair of shoes to wear that are comfortable, that are kind of like a little bit more athletic, that aren't gonna kill my feet. Um, so I am gonna keep them because I remember last time we went sightseeing, my feet were so sore by the end of the day. I was just wearing a pair of ballet flats and it just didn't cut it. I needed something um, a little bit more athletic. So I'm gonna keep those. I don't really, I don't know. I'm not much of a sneaker girl. I wear sneakers to the gym and that's about it. And then lastly, I have a pair of black high heel sandals as well. Exactly the same ones as those ones. These ones are just in black. And again, that's just for that versatility. When I have an outfit that requires a black shoe, I have a black shoe. In this store, I do have some bras and I actually don't have any bras that I want to declutter. I like and wear every single one that's in here. And to the right, I just have my underwear that goes with them and they're kind of a mess. I haven't been really Marie condoing my underwear lately. <laughs> I've just been kind of washing and throwing them in the drawers. So they're a little bit of a mess. Um, but yeah, this is how I always keep my bras in the drawer. So at least I can see all of them and it makes it very easy to grab and choose which ones I'm going to wear. And I just have a couple staples. Actually, one of them is in the laundry hamper right now. Um, I usually keep a couple of staples, like just a nude and a black t-shirt bra that I kind of alternate for work and just every day of the week. And then sometimes I will wear something a little bit fancier if I'm in the mood. And I also have a strapless bra as well for when I'm wearing a dress or something that requires a strapless bra. So none of those items will be decluttered. Down in this bottom drawer, I do have some swimsuits and a couple of swimsuit cover-ups, and I also have a couple of random boxes. Um, I got rid of all the perfume boxes that were in here. You guys might have seen that because I don't know why I was hoarding them. I had like 20 perfume boxes in this drawer. I think because they're so pretty, you don't want to get rid of them, but I finally talked myself into just getting rid of them. And then I also have um, this little box, which came with the uh, bracelet that I was gifted. So it's kind of special. I keep it just in case I want to travel. These little boxes are actually really handy to take jewelry and stuff with you in, in your carry-on. So I do have that. And then I also have a Rebecca Minkoff box that came with one of my watches and it has the extra links from when I had it sized. Yeah, and as for my bikinis and stuff, I don't think I really need to declutter. I have, I think, three bikinis. One of them is kind of just like a basic 
white embroidered really cute bikini from Lord and Taylor which I absolutely love and yeah those are the bottoms so I actually really like that one and then I also have a couple that were more expensive that I got when I was on vacation in Vegas and those are the bottoms and that is the top and these ones were a little bit expensive they were kind of a splurge but they're also kind of a souvenir from Vegas and there's something that I'm always gonna use so you guys don't judge me I don't fold my bathing suits and I don't fold my swimsuit cover-ups because they don't really wrinkle and it's fine I just I just don't stress myself out about folding that kind of stuff. And then I thought I would just quickly show you the stuff that I have on this shelf that's going to be coming with me. Um, so I have a couple of decorative books, which I actually made myself. Um, I also have a couple of travel size perfumes here that are going to be coming with me. I haven't decided to declutter any of those yet. I'm going to be keeping them. I have my Chanel bag, of course, which is going to be coming with me. I also have a matching Louis Vuitton wallet that goes with my Neverfull because I love having matching um, wallets and handbags and this is my favorite. It's so pretty. I absolutely love this print and I love this color I think it's so cute. So those are definitely going to be coming with me as well I like using the wristlet when I just need something quick and easy to bring throughout the day I've used this so much on vacation. It's like the best thing in the world That's what it looks like and then of course I have my pride and joy my red bottom Christian Louboutin high heels which are very uncomfortable but actually I'm starting to break them in and I love them these were a gift and yeah I really really like them but obviously I can't wear them all the time because they're a little bit too high to wear for the daytime which is why I have those pink ones over there and I just noticed that my floor is very dirty and needs to be vacuumed again. You guys, that is one thing I'm really looking forward to about to being in my new place, is my new place is not going to be nearly as dusty. This house is so old and it gets so dusty and so dirty so easily and my new place is going to have more modern ventilation and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to not having to dust every single day. So when it comes to these shoes here, none of these are going to be decluttered right now. Um, I actually like all of these shoes and I do wear all of them on occasion. I think in a former video I was going to declutter these ones. Um, these are just kind of an inspired, like a Valentino inspired shoe. They're from a company called Chris T. So they're not real Valentinos. I do want to get a real pair of Valentino Rocksteads at some point. But in the meantime, these ones are really cute. And yeah, I just don't want to declutter them yet. So keeping those ones um, and then I have my Kate Spade almond toes with the little block heel that I absolutely love so I'll be keeping those I also have my Chanel inspired cap toe block heel which I absolutely love they're so cute and so classy and then I have another pair of ballet flats I have another pair of sandals these ones are a little bit more casual but they have a bit of a block heel so they do give you some height which I also really like and I've worn those countless times. I absolutely love them. And then I have kind of a cheap pair, but just like a basic pair of loafers, which are really good if I have anything to do with the office, if I have some sort of a training day or an education day or something, and I just need something that makes me look kind of smart. These are good. So yeah, not decluttering any of those shoes. And then coming over to the left side of the closet, I just have the bin that I'm keeping my ring light and some of my other camera equipment in. I have my laundry hamper, and then above that I have all of my work clothes and my gym clothes, and none of those are being decluttered. I don't even really need to go through them, but I'll just quickly show you. I have a pajama top that's just hanging here to dry. I have another kind of a pajama top and all of my gym clothes. None of those need to be decluttered. So for those of you who are wondering or who are going to ask, I pretty much always wear Lululemons to the gym, always a pair of black Lululemons. I also have a pair of shorts and then I have a couple of um, just basic t-shirts, a couple of sports bras which I've had for eternity, and I also have a tank top with a built-in bra. The only thing about this shirt is that there are some holes in the bottom. I'm not sure where they came from. I think they might have come from the washing machine or something, so I'm a little bit sad about that. But I have a couple things coming in the mail from Gymshark, and I'm hoping to find a shirt to replace that one with because I don't like wearing things that are falling apart. And then we have all of my scrubs and I always just wear white scrubs to work and the reason for that is because it's very easy. Um, you can bleach them, they're very easy to keep clean. Actually, a lot of people ask me how I keep my white scrubs clean when I'm always working around bodily fluids and pens and I've never ever stained a pair of scrubs, you guys, in my whole 
what is it, eight years of nursing, never ruined a pair of white scrubs and I love them. So I always wear a white long sleeve t-shirt underneath because I tend to get cold. I get very, very cold on night shifts. And then of course I've got my white pants and these ones are from Cherokee, I think. These are um, Cherokee workwear, extra small. And I just get the basic kind of subtle flare bottom with a drawstring waist. And I always have to hem them because my pants are always too long on me. So I do have a sewing machine and I just hem my own pants and it works really well. And then these are the tops that I like. And again, I have four or five of the exact same top. I have them embroidered with RN. Yeah, so this is the brand that I have found that I like. It's by Dickies, really, really comfortable. I also like that it's pretty structured. Um, they're extremely flattering. They kind of come in, in at the waist a little bit. They've got a ton of pockets, which I really, really like. Um, and then they also have a little thing here to put your badge if you want, but I always just clip mine to my shirt. And once I found this shirt and I realized I loved it, I just bought four of them or five of them in the same color. I got a couple of them embroidered with RN and that's it. That's what I wear all the time. So I definitely don't need to declutter any of my scrubs. And that's about it up there. I do have my roses from Rose Forever. Uh, the reason they're sitting up there is because I'm just always switching things up. I'm always reorganizing and putting things in new places and I just don't have a place for them right now. But when I get to my new place, I will be digging those roses out and bringing them with me. And then I also have up there in a frame my vision board, uh, which I always make a vision board. Every year I revamp it and I just don't have a place to hang it right now. So it's up in my closet. And that's pretty much it for the closet. So, so you guys, that's it. I don't have a whole lot of stuff to declutter, but like you guys probably have seen before, I'm always decluttering and I'm always going through and reorganizing and trying to decide if there's anything I don't need, if there's anything I can rehome. So I'm actually really thankful because I don't have that much stuff that I need to get rid of, which makes me very happy. So when I move to my new place, it's gonna be very, very easy for me just to pack everything, put everything into a couple of garbage bags and boxes and just haul it all over there. So you guys, that's it for today's video. I'm sorry that it was maybe a little bit boring and not that exciting, but a few of you did request So I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thought process as to what I'm gonna be taking and what I'm gonna be leaving And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys all next time